find ourselves with? Uh, Lauren Fortna. Yes. Your guitar <laughs> was just heavenly. Thank you so uh, much. Appreciate it. Let me fix this. Tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, well, I born in southern Pennsylvania, grew up in uh, Elizabeth, New Jersey, and uh, came to classical guitar my senior year in high school. Um, I wanted to be a music teacher, and I needed to play an instrument, and at that time, I, I really didn't. So I picked up classical guitar. <laughs> You're quite welcome. My pleasure. Uh, I picked up classical guitar at the Montclair State University uh, preparatory program, and uh, the, the rest is history. I fell in love with the repertoire, um, the techniques, the sounds, uh, everything like that. And uh, and I'm still loving it today, still loving the repertoire. Well, uh, so your guitar later. was heavenly. And the Thank composer you, you picked to this, this, this afternoon, what's his name and what could you tell us uh, about him a little bit? Uh, Johann Kasper Mertz, um, born in 1806, uh, died in 1856. He was born in uh, Pressburg, Hungary. Uh, and then in 1840 moved to uh, Austria where he really made his professional career but he was um, uh, definitely a, a already a fairly well established if not known but a, um, a very uh, highly elevated uh, player and composer uh, for the guitar uh, for guitar and piano duets guitar and uh, terz guitar which is a smaller guitar duet um, and when he got to Austria he was given a court appointment almost immediately from arriving there and uh, was published by one of the leadest, leading publishing houses in Austria, uh, Hasslinger House, who published the music of Franz Liszt among others. Wow. Um, and so he spent his, uh, his 16 years there and touring with his wife who was also a, a concert musician. Uh, she was a pianist. And um, he wrote primarily small character pieces original fantasies, opera fantasies, and dances. And tonight's program uh, was mainly, uh, primarily contained his uh, small character pieces, original fantasies, and opera fantasies. And uh, your guitar is very interesting. It has like these sound vents on the very top yeah. there. <laughs> this is actually, uh, uh, this instrument was made by Augustino Leprenzi, um, and it was made in uh, Clearwater, Florida, actually. Um, Augie is from New Jersey, and I bought this instrument in South Carolina after having seen it in Ohio. So this is a fairly well-traveled uh, guitar. Yeah. I see. Um, and the concept here is uh, these these extra sound holes. Not only do they offer more sound to the audience, uh, but they actually offer more sound to the to the performer as well. Um, I'm able to hear the guitar a lot better uh, in a room that just really isn't alive or something like that. I'm able to hear everything that I'm doing, all the subtle nuances that I'm trying to get out, uh, and I can tell that I need to um, play louder, play softer, whatever the case may be. Um, and it really, this particular instrument, yeah, every instrument is slightly different, even if it's made by the same person, the wood and everything like that. Uh, this particular instrument uh, really favors uh, the baritone mitch, rich mid-range of, uh, of the guitar. Is there a specific um, name for that type of guitar? Uh, this is the Nova Futura um, and this, <laughs> this was made uh, Nova Futura by Augustino Leprenzi um, who has since retired. This was made wow. in 1998. Uh, this was not custom made for me. Um, it's a beautiful place. Thank you very much. I love it. And uh, here it has uh, it's a well well worn guitar for all the different styles of guitar that uh, styles of music that I've played, um, but it really has uh, served me very very well. And uh, it was my first concert guitar, and it's this I've been playing this guitar since 1999 actually. Wow. Um, well, and nothing else. I want to thank you. It thank you wonderful. so much. It's wonderful. Thank concert. you. I'm so and glad you were. Everyone was very happy. <laughs> and uh, we'll meet again, my friend. I hope so. Thanks. Thank you so much.